So in case you missed the live stream that happened at, uh, this morning for Sword of Convalaria, allow me to break it down for you in a little bit more consolidated form. So that way, you know, you could just know what to expect when the game launches. Um, I'm going to make this kind of like unedited, just short and sweet because I'm tired. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm exhausted and I need to get some sleep before I start my work shift. Um, but the first thing I want to point out is that they did announce that we are getting a console release. So there will be a console release for the game. So that's beautiful. Um, I think that's uh, fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, the next thing is, is that we are getting commemorative awards. So we're getting 750 Hope Lux site. We're getting 5,000 Elysium coin and we're getting 3,000 Radiant power, Powder. I kind of wish they would have given us a full 10 pull because 750 is only five pulls. Um, but I kind of wish they gave us a full 10 pull, but it is what it is. Um, they did say that they optimized the difficulty of stages. So they optimized the gameplay of the game, the localizations, but also the difficulty, the difficulty of the stages. So rather if it's like, if I do like, so basically they made it so that the game can be still played by hardcore players, but also with casuals. So it's a little bit of everything, you know? Um, so I'm kind of curious on how that optimization looks. Um, they did announce that there are three new modes that we're getting a um, little bit after the launch of the game. So it's not going to be on the launch, but a little bit after the launch. Uh, the first mode is going to be a new live PvP. So we are getting live PvP against people around your level. So that's how they said they're going to do it. It's supposed to be casual and fun PvP that, um, that you'll be able to start doing it. You'll get people close to your level. And you can do one-on-one -on -one combat, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I need to see how that kind of works out because, you know, a lot of times we have games with PvP with gotcha games. Whoever spends the most money wins. So we're kind of seeing how they balance this. Um, but we do get the live one-on-one -on -one battles, which I think I will probably be taking part in that. Um, the next thing they did is um, two new guild events. Uh, the one of them is going to be the guild construction event. Uh, they haven't told us what that really is going to be about. I'm guessing just like facilities and stuff so we can get more rewards in the guilds. We'll see or people can get more resources or rewards. And then they're also doing guild ba uh, team battles. So that one, I don't know if it's like team battles for PvP or if it's uh, like raids. They haven't told us much about that. Uh, so we'll have to see when that comes through. But if it's raids, I'm down for it. I think raids would be great. And if it's team battles for PvP, I'm probably down for it as well. I might make a guild. Or I might join a guild. I'll probably make one just because. Um, so they did tell us that the banners that we're going to get is the Gloria banner for the debut. And then we're going to get the Coal and Barrel Destined banner. So those are going to be the two banners that we are going to be getting. And then some of the event, the events that we're going to get is we're going to get the spiral event, the spiral of destinies event, the um, dawn. That's the one where you complete more endings of the spiral abyss and you get a lot of rewards um, when you complete more endings of the spiral abyss. So the incentives to do spiral abyss so you can get hope luck site, um, but you get a lot of resources and rewards from doing that. There's also a seven-day login. Most gotcha games got this one. But this one, um, we're going to get Hope Lux site. And on the seventh day, we get a free legendary Fake Hall. So that's pretty cool. Fake Hall was pretty fun. I liked using him. I think Fake Hall was pretty strong. He was pretty good. Um, we get uh, the complete quest to, to get... Yeah, so also there's another event where basically you just complete quests in the game and you get Hope Lux site, legendary gear, resources. Resources are going to be really huge in the game, So, but we do get legendary gear through that. That's going to be good. They also announced that we're getting a new barrel skin. So we are getting skins in the game for characters. The barrel skin looked chef kiss. It looks so cute. Um, definitely looked good. 
Um, they also said that we're getting a new coal skin as well. So you're getting a skin for coal. They didn't show what the skin looked like, um, but the barrel skin was really nice. Uh, it's like through the looking glass, I think it was called, and it made barrel look really kawaii. And then finally, they said that we're getting a new, there's a new song from an artist named Gar Garnadelia. Um, is a song that she made called Convalaria, and that's going to be releasing as well when the game launches as well. So that's pretty much everything that they told us in the live stream. Um, it was a relatively good live stream. Um, chat was wild, but, uh, but it was good. I enjoyed the live stream. Um, I also had watched it live on YouTube. If you want to go into the YouTube just to watch it, I am sorry about the audio. I was still working on my new audio setup that I have, so I didn't realize it was double playing. That's on me. Um, but above all, um, if you want to watch it, you can, or you can just go to their website and take a look at it and see. Uh, but yeah, so that's everything that they told us in a live stream. So hopefully you guys can um, enjoy the game and when the game comes out. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Y'all take care of yourselves.